Welcome to Tea Time Fitness with Janice. Hi, I'm Janice Thornton with JT Fitness and Golf. So today we're gonna to look at an exercise that is going to power your golf swing so that way you can send golf balls down that fairway far and long. We all want it and we all need to get a stronger thoracic rotation. This is a great exercise to help you. It's the corkscrew squat. The corkscrew squat becomes super golf specific because of what it addresses. So I'm going through hip flexion and knee flexion. And as I go through hip and knee flexion, my spine naturally wants to move forward into a forward bend position, which is almost like 30, 40 degrees of forward flexion, right? So, but just the, the, the basic corkscrew squat, I want to introduce thoracic rotation, but I want to do that with my hips and my knees remaining square so that I start to work on my disassociation in my thoracic spine. So that's about 90 degree shoulder turn. And the more hip flexion I introduce, there's more hip flexion, more isolation takes place in the thoracic spine. So the demand becomes greater as the hip flexion becomes greater in angle, right? Okay, so I'll do some to the opposite side, right? So I don't wanna lose my hip orientation, that square orientation that I started with. And I work on my shoulder turn. So I started out by saying that it becomes very specific in golf. So I'm gonna profile myself to you. And as I go into this hip and knee flexion and into this thoracic rotation, what happens if I change the plane? Then it looks like a golf swing because I introduce side bend. I'm already in thoracic rotation. So this shows you how essential side bend is to establishing shoulder plane. Or my impact. And that's the importance of corpse response.